My name is uh, Sean Randall. I was arrested for possession, intent to distribute uh, a fair amount of methamphetamine. Um, I was convicted and sentenced to four years in local prison, which is county jail, um, and rehab. My name is Dave Hincrad, I'm the Tamey County Sheriff, and I've been the Tamey County Sheriff since um, January of 2011. What we're talking about here today is a result of AB 109. Being a county jail, we quickly became a county prison and we had to deal with programs to uh, not only keep our inmates op occupied, but relieve the stress of, from overcrowding in the jail. My name is Rick Ryan, I'm a Deputy Sheriff for Tamey County Sheriff's Department. We um, came up with an idea to open up an auto shop um, Tama County's fleet was probably of four or five hundred cars within the county. We had no service department for them, and we had this new AB 109 program with a lot of guys that were actually eligible to come out here if they were interested and learn a trait. One of the benefits of this program is all these guys here you're going to see today are from are are not in custody per se in the traditional sense. They go home at night. They're all wearing ankle monitors, uh, GPS monitoring and they get day for day credit by wearing the monitor, plus um, it allows us to house them outside the jail. They come to work every morning, they punch in, uh, they provide uh, a myriad of labor services in the shop from washing cars, mounting tires, to actually doing mechanic work with a scanner and troubleshooting vehicles. Uh, well, my name is Pablo and uh, I came in here, uh, I got pulled over by Highway Patrol and uh, I was actually passing by here, got in trouble came to jail thing. I actually came to this auto shop. I stay I actually was a year and uh seven months in county jail, came out and um uh, thank God I, the A B one oh nine program got me out. Well, yeah, one of the first things I had to uh, overcome when I was opening up an inmate auto shop was are these guys going to cut the brake lines? Are they going to sabotage the car? Are they going to steal the car? And once we got through all that, these guys have actually been very appreciative of getting a chance to work on these cars. We're building all of Tehama County's police interceptors now. Um, the other local agencies that are coming in here, canine units, we're doing all the work. These guys are actually very proud to work on these vehicles and uh, have a great deal of pride, and they show it. The mere fact of showing up here 40 hours a week keeps them out of trouble. They're not hanging out all day. They're not just hanging around with all their, these other guys coming around, talking to them in and doing stuff that they don't want to do. These guys actually take pride in their work um, and they compete among themselves on doing good work in the shop. As they end their sentence, they get closer to the end, they will start working one day a week at a certain tire shop and come and see me three days a week. And the last couple months, they'll only be working one day with me and full time with the other place that they're interested, wherever they get the job. You know, the big buzzword with recidivism with AB109, we have guys that mess up. Uh, you know, they test dirtier, they, they screw up on, you know, probation or, you know, we have the ability to put them back in jail without no, any due process and then bring them back if we, if we think they're going to, because the goal is to get them to succeed, not to, um, you know, not to sanction them for screwing up. Uh, the end goal is uh, to uh, decrease the recidivism rate and, and just to um, have a, a person that participates in this program to just gain a greater awareness in, in their life and their decisions that they're making. So overall I think the, it's a pretty successful program. You know, we don't compete with other markets but our guys do a better job than other installers. Hopefully, after I graduate here, go, go into this professionally with the training I got here um, and pay it forward, maybe tr uh, teach others. I got in this program because I was uh, doing time in jail and um, 
Um, came here and it's actually done me a lot of good. It gave me a lot of hope and, and you know, in myself and and part of being a part of this and it's kind of made me think about what I do, what I've done out there, you know, and what this program's done for me. It's made me a better person, you know.